If you clicked on this video, you're probably super excited because you're about to get ready to go on a cruise and you want to know what to buy, you want to know what to pack. This video is packed full of information, no pun intended. Any links or any resources are going to be in the description box below. So let's get right into the video. The first thing you want to pack is your passport book or a passport card. The passport cards are good for land and sea, which means you could use them if you're cruising. Do not forget to purchase your RFID blocker for your passport. That way nobody steals your information. If you're cruising out of a US port and coming back to a US port, you could use your government issued ID along with your birth certificate. So do not forget your passport or your government issued ID along with your birth certificate. The next thing you want to bring is everything that has to do with your cruise. And I have this folder. I have everything printed out and laminated. You don't have to get that crazy, but you guys should bring everything that has to do with your cruise, like all your check-in information. If you bought any excursions that you're going to be going on, if you bought any drinking packages, any soda packages, any of that, if you're flying, you want to make sure you have your ticket with you, all that good stuff. That way you're nice and organized and you don't forget to bring anything. Yeah, you could have all this stuff on your phone but your phone could die and I'm a little more old school so I like having the paper copy in my hand the next one is your medicine do not forget to pack your medicine especially your nausea pills you want to make sure you bring that especially if you don't know if you're gonna get seasick or not if this is your first cruise you want to have that with you they sell the C bands that go on your wrist and it's an acupressure thing that goes on your wrist and it makes sure that you don't get seasick so if it's your first cruise you might want to get that along with the pills they also sell this patch it's for motion sickness and it goes behind your ear and that works just as good so you might want to get one of these two of these or all three of them if you don't know you're gonna get seasick or you're if you're scared of getting seasick the next thing you want to make sure you get is your cruise tag it's recommended from the cruise line that you either staple or tape it to your bag and for me that's a big no-go if you tape it or staple it it's probably gonna fall off and it's never gonna get to your room so you want to make sure you have this it's made of hard plastic and hard metal and these are reusable I get asked that a lot for some reason all you do is unscrew it and you screw it right back in I've had the same one we keep using the same one over and over again they're very durable and I definitely recommend this item the next thing you want to bring is your lanyard. Me and the wife, we have different color coordinated ones right here. It holds your room key. Your room key obviously gets you in your room, but it's also your credit card while you're on the cruise line so you could purchase different things. So I recommend that you buy one before you go because you could get it personalized like we have our charger ones because we're from San Diego, even though they went to LA, but that's a different story. Okay, so we bought these ones. We like them because they're Velcro and also because they have clips on them. So you could clip them off. You could give it to the bartender hey give me a drink they give it back to you and it's a lot easier because you could have it on your neck so i definitely recommend you get one of these before your next cruise one thing that you guys should consider that comes in handy is one of those storages that you hook behind the door i took it off right now just for the video but i usually have it on there i have my shoes on there sunglasses anything that you need that's right next to the door so you don't forget so which is usually my sunglasses on my instead of forgetting my sunglasses i put them right there that way right when you're headed out you're like oh my sunglasses and it's better for storage and you could put anything in those compartments the next thing you pack, which is very important if you're going somewhere nice and sunny like a beach, the Caribbean or the Bahamas or of course your sunglasses. You cannot forget those. One thing that I cannot forget when I go on a cruise is my sunscreen because I will burn if I don't have it. If you're a tanner, don't forget your sun tan lotion and if you burn easily like me, do not forget your aloe vera. Do not forget your swimwear. For my fellas, bring your swim trunks. For my ladies, my wife is gonna be demonstrating some of the swimsuits she bought from Amazon. So you got this one and you also got that one. We will link them down in the description box below if you guys are interested in any of the bikinis that she's wearing. Do not forget to bring your corkscrew because there is a $15 cork fee. So you do not wanna pay the $15, make sure you bring your corkscrew. 
One thing you have to make sure you either purchase or buy if you don't have it is an extension cord. This one is especially for cruises and I'm here on a cruise ship so obviously they let me in. You gotta make sure that you do not have a surge protector. If you have a surge protector on it, they're not gonna let you in. This one's cool because it has three ports and it has four USB chargers. So this is all we need right here to charge our stuff. And I'm a YouTuber so I got a bunch of stuff to charge. So trust me, this is all we need here on our cruise ship. I wanted to add that when you go on cruise ships, they usually don't have that many outlets. We got lucky to have two outlets here in this living area, but we do not have an outlet in the bathroom. I've seen ones that have outlets in the bathroom, some that have them in the living area, but this one has two. If you're thinking that you're gonna unplug the lamps and use the lamp outlets, uh, you might be wrong because it's a weird outlet that I haven't seen before. It's these circular ones, so you cannot use the outlet that they have behind the bed. A lot of people don't know that the doors and the walls in a cruise ship are made out of metal. So what we do is we get these cool magnets right here and we throw them on the door and next to the door. That way we know which our room is because when you're coming back from the bar in the middle of the night, you kind of don't know which your room is. But other than that, like all the doors look the same. So you could be coming back. Some people put uh, whiteboards on their doors. They put all kinds of different stuff. We put these tacks on here. Um, the thing is, a little disclaimer about these cool emojis is they're so cool that people actually stole a couple of ours so we're kind of mad right now so we don't have all of them out but we do have a bunch of these emojis next to our door so we know which one our room is the next thing we're going to talk about is these towel clips they come in different colors they clip your towel onto your lounge chair that way you mark your territory you remember which lounger is actually yours and that way they're not falling off your back when you're trying to lay down and relax while you're at the pool or even at the beach this next one is a money saving tip make sure you bring your reusable water bottles or your thermals with you to fill up at the buffet if you don't fill up at the buffet and you grab one of those expensive water bottles in the room they're four dollars each so what we do is we usually fill up at night we take these bottles to the room that way we don't accidentally reach over and grab one of those four dollar water bottles just in case we get thirsty in the middle of the night these are also helpful when you're going on an excursion that way you have water one thing you want to make sure you pack is your formal wear. Most cruises have, depending on how many days or nights you're going on a cruise, if it's a seven day cruise, usually there's two formal nights and you go out to dinner with you and your girl, you wear nice clothing, it's usually slacks and a button up shirt for the guys. The ladies usually wear dresses. You want to make sure you're not wearing any tank tops, any caps, any flip flops, none of that good stuff. So make sure you bring formal wear. Some cruise ships are real fancy where you need tuxedos and suits. So depending on which cruise ship you're going on, you need to find out what formal wear actually is, but do not forget it once you find out what it is. Speaking of flip flops, you wanna make sure you pack your flip flops to your cruise. One thing I recommend is having water shoes. These right here, they're a little bit older, but they do the trick. I bought them when I was in Cancun one time and I've never looked back since. I love these things. You could use them at the pool, at the beach, when you're going on excursions. I definitely recommend you pick yourself up some water shoes, especially ones that look like tennis shoes that are nice and light. I already mentioned that the door and also the walls are made of metal. So one cool thing that we bring is this hook magnet right here. It's very strong magnet. I'm gonna link it down below so you guys know which ones that I bought. And these things are a lifesaver. We put our lanyards on them next to the door so we don't forget. You could actually put strings on them and you could hang up your laundry that's wet. Like we use them for our bathing suits. We actually put our backpacks on it. We put our purses on it, our fanny packs, hats, anything that you could think of. This magnet is so strong that it's gonna hold it up. Next thing I wanna talk about you wanna bring to a cruise is the downy wrinkle release. You spray this on a shirt that's all wrinkled up because it was in your luggage for a while and it would flatten right out. All you do is a couple sprays, you put it on a hook, you straighten it out, you put it in the closet, you forget about it and it will flatten out. Yeah, it's not gonna be a nice crease like an iron. Speaking of an iron, some cruises do have a laundromat and they let you iron your clothes there. But if you don't have that option or don't have the time to, don't forget to bring your spray. 
Another thing I always bring on a cruise is Ziploc bags and I bring every size. You don't know when you're gonna need them. Like if you go to a port and you think it's gonna be nice and sunny and it just starts pouring rain on you, you wanna be able to protect all your important documents or any valuables that you have. Like if you're bringing your passport with you, you wanna have a Ziploc bag. That way you protect it from the rain or any elements. So no matter what, we bring Ziploc bags on all of our cruises. Another thing I recommend you guys have, especially if you booked an interior room, is a night light. You guys are gonna need this because it's gonna be pitch black in the middle of the night in your room, especially if you have to get up to go to the bathroom or something like that. You have a night light, you can kind of see, you know, you don't wanna flick the lights on and then you're gonna have a hard time going back to sleep unless you're like me, that's what's gonna happen. So I bring a night light to all cruises. If you're going to a beach destination and you wanna check out tropical fish, do not forget your snorkel gear. I have this one right here that has a mask. It's real easy to use. You just flop it on, you look down, you get to see all the cool fish, and I definitely recommend it. I did want to mention this cool toiletry bag that we got off of Amazon. Cruise ships do not have the best space on the countertops. Usually they're non-existent unless maybe you get a suite or something. So if you're looking for more space, what we did is we bought one of these with the hooks. We put it right next to the sink and just like that, you have more room for your toiletries. Make sure you bring a waterproof phone case because you do not want to drop your phone in the pool or at the beach. I'm actually using this to go down in the water to check out the fish. So the footage you're checking out right now is from my iPhone and it is from this case. It also supports Android. So it doesn't matter if you're iPhone or Android, you need to get one of these cases to protect your phone. One thing I want to share with you guys is this backpack I got on Amazon. This thing is perfect. It's just the right size. It's not too big. It's not too small. It holds all my stuff, especially when I'm going to an excursion or when I'm going up to the pool. You could throw your towel in here. It is water resistant. That's the main thing I like about this bag and I definitely recommend it. Most cruises have a energy saving system next to the front door. So what I do is I bring a credit card that I don't even use anymore just to slide it in there. That way I get to keep the lights on whenever I want to keep them on. That way I'm not using my room key. So let's just say I'm taking a shower and my wife wants to go upstairs shopping or something. If she takes the key out of there, then the lights are gonna turn off and it's usually like a 30 second timer. So she's not gonna know right away. She's gonna take off. I'm gonna be in the shower. The lights are gonna turn off so to avoid that I bring this credit card this old credit card to slide right next to the door right in the system that way the lights are not turning off on me another thing I recommend is you bring clothes pins so if you put clothes pins on top of your clothes that's on a string it's gonna dry a lot faster because the water works downwards if you fold it over the water is gonna stay on there longer and it's gonna take longer to dry some of the bathrooms on cruise ships they actually have a line that you can hang stuff up at that way when it drips it drips in the sink but what I recommend these for is if you want something to dry a lot faster like a bathing suit I have two things that I want to recommend to make the room smell good. The first one is this one. I just pop it up. I leave it next to the desk. It keeps your room smelling fresh for the whole time you're going to be on your cruise. Unless you're going on a month cruise or something like that, this will probably work for the whole time. Another thing I like bringing in is the spray. Just in case your wife goes to the bathroom and you need to spray this oh, down. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case you go to the bathroom and you need to spray it down afterwards, that way it's not stinking up the whole room. The wife needs two bottles, you guys heard it. Huh? About 10 to 15 minutes. So do not forget to bring your Glade Aroma along with your Febreze spray. So I wanted to talk about the new straw policy. They now have edible straws, but I did not like it. So what I recommend is a tip is you bring your own reusable straw. It works a lot better than the edible straw they have. If I forgot to mention anything, please help out our fellow travelers and put it in the comment box below. I wanna hear everything that you guys bring on a cruise and I will see you guys on the next video.